Ni hao, and welcome back to Jade Empire. When we last left off, well, we entered the Lotus um, Fortress. Yeah, words. And an active clay column. Hmm. Oh, a merchant. Ukia kupa bithi te soki kustan fatiwe ia kune usote tate ia? Okay. I have my own silver. You're not above personal sales, are you? Wonoa ia sususatia sonsifonia sonsi ifo. Looks like. O ifo ia uksonkob no ko isansia. Hmm. Kia. Your surname is Kia? I know a Kia men once. A koni uk noia kup sa ia sisia su ukot. Um, last I saw of her, she seemed to be well. O ifo ia uksonkob no ko isansia. Yeah. <laughs> Um, her hair was tied in many small knots. Wokukethita sumpono, Sathwa kawa ea ifiak. Ah, thank you. Ika kahia wo no kakike ea, wo shafia oko uke ea aya yuya wai. Hmm. What do you have for sale? Ni wo sosa wa ea wak, tasi no ni nano yopa napia ifa ea ok. All right. Um, this person you could also purchase Dire Flame from, but, uh, yeah. Ooh, that would be good, but I'm not part of the Way of the Closed Fist, so, yeah. Hmm, maybe? Let's see what I can sell. Closed Fist, okay. Definitely keeping that. Uh, might as well keep that. Keep that. Looks good. Intimidation. I'll keep it for now. Uh, yeah, that has more bonuses than drawbacks. Spirit four. And more power ups. Hmm. I don't really need more experience points because I essentially have the uh, exper experience requirement for all of my levels. So, yeah, we'll sell Spirit Harvest. That one we're keeping. Um, might as well. Yeah, yeah. That one's pretty low, but... Yeah, I'll keep it. Um, mind plus two and no focus for evading traps. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Gentle persuasion, good fortune, just plain intuition gem, soft pedal, charm. No, that's just charm plus two. Yeah, I'm just gonna toss that. Yeah. All these level one intuition gems and intimidation gems, I think I'm just gonna chuck those. Okay. Thank you. Wander around, unlock the map. Old Master Gi. Old Master Soto. Hmm. That sounds like a pleasant thing to master. Oh. You are falling behind, gang. Grand Inquisitor Zia is not happy, therefore I am not happy. If your work does not improve, 
I will have to stop taking credit for it. <laughs> the latest battalion of golems stand idle because of you. If the production of the Jade Golem is delayed again, perhaps your soul will fuel our next attempt. Uh-oh. I trust I have made myself clear. Yes, Master Shin. I thought so. Do not let anything delay you further. It would be a shame to once more remind Grand Inquisitor Jia how incompetent you are. Right. Yes, an absolute shame. What do you want? So help me, if you're just some wandering slave, I'll have you butchered to color the clay golems. Uh, I'm actually a new Wait, recruit. Wait, no. You are the one I was told to expect. A new recruit. <laughs> As if I don't have enough trouble watching over the other fools in my care. I will endeavor to serve you as best I can. Your best is no longer the limit of what we expect, despite what you have achieved elsewhere. You will be reconstructed into the perfect obedient slave. If you survive, then you will be an assassin. For now, you are a Lotus Acolyte, and your life expectancy is not long. Follow me down to the central chambers when you are ready to begin your indoctrination. Do not keep me waiting. A battalion of golems stand idle. All right. Let's see. We'll go down there after we, uh... Clay Golem Spirit Font. Give up that. And before we go on, let's, um... You know. Go over to that focus shrine and max that out. Bing. Yeah, if you've noticed, I do not use my uh, mana or chi all that much. Anyhow. Well, you're nice. Damn the heavens for the fools I lead. I am destined to suffer for their incompetence, and I have one man to blame for it. Shin. Oh? The old scorpion had one of his followers shatter a spirit shard during training. There are ghosts everywhere. I've lost eight slaves and three acolytes to them. I see. You, new blood, get over there and occupy those ghosts until I can get real Lotus assassins to clean them up. Golem production cannot be delayed by this. Right. A man accustomed to sending others to their deaths. <laughs> Go on. It's your first sacrifice for your new life. I'm sure it will be glorious. Okay. Ooh, stuff. The Grand Inquisitor's will. In your obedience to Death's hands, do not neglect the heed of complex demands from our Mistress Jia. Second in glory only to the hand of death himself. Our mistress demands all her servants think clearly and completely in all things they do. She expects all Lotus assassins to exercise their minds as thoroughly as they suppress their impulses of their hearts. As Grand Inquisitor, Mistress Jia knows all things that happen within the fortress and without. Not even the deepest secrets of the most remote places in the Empire can escape her knowledge. Mistress Zia demands that we be cunning, ruthless, and complete in our loyalty to her master and ours. Death's hand! To disrespect her is to disrespect the Empire, the Emperor, and Death's Hand himself. Okay.
Configuration of the rabbit. Okay. That was something that I was uh, looking for. The unattainable fire. Of all the threats the Un Jade Empire faced, the uh, greatest was the barbarian warlord Zeng Sai, titled the tree that defies the fire. Zeng Sai managed to organize the barbaric horse lords into an efficient and deadly machine of warfare. Horse lords, I'm guessing, are the Mongols? Conquering much of the land of the west and north of the empire before coming to bear on the borders of the Jade Empire itself. Zeng Sai, whose savagery denied the will of uh, in the Great Wall built to keep his people out, led his hungry, maddened people to attack our fledgling empire in a rabid attempt to destroy all that would become our advanced and prosperous civilization. Eh. So vicious and deadly was Zeng Sai's attack that it roused the insular spirit monks from their temple in the land of howling spirits to come to the Empire's aid. Left unconquered by the devouring horse lord army, the monks of Dirge stood alongside the Empire and, in a great battle, were counted by sages, playwrights, and scholars around the known world, laid waste to Zeng Sai and his ravenous army of wild bowmen. With the help of the monks from Dirge, the Empire finally burned down the tree that defies uh, the fire. And our glorious land has never since faced so deadly a foe. We have the Lotus. Many acolytes misinterpret the tenets of the Lotus Assassin Order. Stated simply, there are no tenets save one. Obedience. Some believe we preach strength overall, but uh, one must be strong even to be considered for recruitment. We are assassins, not monks. Our order does not teach as much as we act. Leave the teaching to the scholars in their wasteful garden. Our mandate is to serve the will of the Emperor through Death's hand and the Grand Inquisitor Zia. Because they demand strength, we give them strength. Because they demand cunning, we give them cunning. Most of all, they demand obedience, so we give them our obedience. To do otherwise would be to spit in the eyes of those who hold our spirits in their hands. Acolytes may create philosophical justifications for the lives they have chosen, but in the end, our Master's will are the only truth and only law we serve. Wow, you're nice. Greetings, young Lotus Acolyte. I am the Keeper of the Archive. What can this humble servant of the Order do for you? Um... How long have you kept your Archive? Our Order has existed for 20 years. I have chronicled our new role and rise to glory. Much is mundane, minor shifts in power, the results of various campaigns. Uh-huh. True secrets are held only in the minds of Grand Inquisitor Gia and Death's Hand. I see. Uh, what's in the archive? I will answer within the limits of what someone of your ranking is permitted to know. Recent or old entries, you must give specifics. Um, tell them about the uh, leadership. All you are allowed to know of your masters is that Death's Hand is the will of the Emperor, and Grand Inquisitor Gia rules this place for him. Right. Obey their wishes when they are made apparent to you, or you will be destroyed. That is all an acolyte needs to understand. Uh-huh. You may, however, ask about your Master Gong. He is not important enough to warrant secrecy. Ooh. Yeah, tell me about Gong. A thoroughly average assassin relegated to indoctrinating acolytes due to his failure to demonstrate leadership qualities. He is not well liked. I noticed. His mediocrity is magnified by the successes of Master Shin, an assassin who arrived at the same time and has catapulted through the ranks. Mm -hmm. Coincidentally, Master Shin is the one who personally documented many of Gong's failures. There is, of course, nothing strange about this. Uh-huh. My other question. I will answer within... Um, tell me about the time the Order was formed. 20 years ago? I mean, I was probably alive then. I don't know. I'm not sure how old they want to make Philosopher Housing. You are permitted to know that Death's Hand returned from Dirge as the Emperor's trusted confidant after all others around him proved to be traitors. Uh-huh. After defeating the drought, the Emperor was no longer a slave to the natural order of things. He needed utterly loyal disciples to replace and kill doubters. Ooh. The Order of the Lotus was quickly transformed from its weak role under Prince Kin. Death's Hand was the new way, and those who disagreed were destroyed. I see. No one questions such a brutal change? All who did were killed. 
except one who first hid his doubt. On a mission to cleanse a traitor's family, he rejected Death's hand and turned on his fellows. I think that's Zoo. The bodies were unrecognizable. More have died to him over the years, but few remain who know his face. He was our most skilled, most vicious, and most hated. Eh, yeah, definitely Zoo. Uh, what was this rogue assassin called? His name is not spoken to the Acolytes. You must understand that to oppose Death's hand is to lose all connection to your masters. Even if you live, you do not exist. Definitely a zoo. There are few fates worse than being reduced to nothing. Lotus assassins can belong nowhere else. Service to Death's hand is your life. So he escaped punishment. He escaped death, but there is no greater penalty for a Lotus assassin than to be removed from the sight of Death's hand and our Emperor. Right. No doubt many of his years have been worse than death. Once you are truly indoctrinated, you will know the hunger to serve that such loyalty brings. Hmm. What's so different the way you were trained? Master Gong has been lax in indoctrinating you. No doubt he wants to make use of your fiery disposition before stripping you of it. You will come to understand. Right. Soon you will have nothing else but your life here. Your role as a Lotus Assassin leaves no room for anything other than loyalty to Death's Hand and the Emperor. Well, let's go back to my other questions. I will answer. Tell me about the recent campaigns. Slaves continue to be brought to the fortress from the Wall and unimportant villages that have no voice to object. Our Golem force continues to grow. Yeah. Operations in Tien's Landing have temporarily halted, but we received glorious news that a hated enemy of the Emperor has been delivered to the palace. Oh? The accomplices who hid oh, him were Master butchered, Lee. their pitiful village raised. We look forward to a day when all who oppose our masters are dealt with. Uh-huh. Who was the enemy? It is unimportant. All that matters is that he was caught. We don't need to know any more than that. It is a glorious validation of all that we do to serve our masters. Right. Well, I will other questions then. Bye. Goodbye, Acolyte. Serve our masters well. Let's see, in here is another acolyte. Hello. If permitted to serve, I would give my life as a Lotus Assassin. That sounds nice. I have no time for you, acolyte. I focus every thought on the Emperor's glorious Golem army. Anything in here? Oop, stuff. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, if we are Uk Sunork Danowe na Wafta Tasi Yeruk, on we pifi. That's nice. More Lord Assassins, some attendants. This is where that guy was taken. Hello, ghost. Doing, Always guy. happy to help. What do you need? What do you think about our current situation? I never expected to see the inside of this place, and frankly, I wish I hadn't. Mm -hmm. I will give the assassins this, though. I sure know how to decorate to a theme. That they do. Talk of to you course. later. I'll be here if you need anything. Yep. Ooh, face. Money. 
active clay golems. But that'll be it for this video. When we come back, more of the Lotus Assassin Fortress. Have a good one, folks.